Kia Ora, Doberdan, and Zadravo. Hey, it's time for Green Shorts. And today I'm taking these headers and the posts and the zip, and I'm heading over to Music on Main Street to install them. My goal for today is to get up the four corners as well as the sip. Getting the sip out of here is gonna call for something a little drastic. I'm feeling like this is a bigger job than I can handle by myself. Let me give Chad a call. Call? Dude, I knew you lived close, but I didn't think you were that close. Hey, I'm always here to help. Uh, Chad from Mancrafting, you've seen him on my channel before, or maybe you haven't. Chad's also going to help us with the plasma cut on this build, and that's a few episodes down the road. But today he's going to help me with his truck and his brawn. I needed to take this fence panel out anyway because I'm going to be bringing the trailer in here for the camper build. Manly Arts and Crafts. Oh, you got the hat on too. I did, I brought a hat for you. Oh, cool. What do you think? I think it works with the co-branding. Before I put the subfloor on, I'm going to attach the legs to the footings with some brackets. I'm using Tapcon uh, screws with the star drive to anchor into the concrete. Now that I've got the brackets down except for the legs under that joist that's a little bit out of alignment, we can fix that alignment. Good. Looks good. Of course, this is why you usually have one long joist along the rim of a building so you don't have to worry about stuff like that. All right, now we can lock down these last two posts. And now for the subfloor. As luck would have it, I need subfloor, and there's a whole bunch of subfloor right here. I've got permission from the builders to get it, so I'm raiding the trash pile over here for something that I need. here. I gotta trim some of these off. I need to use some of my scraps to finish up the other end. You've probably seen the SFI Certified Sourcing Label, Sustainable Forestry Initiative. That's what that stands for. The other most common green certification for wood is FSC, Forest Stewardship Council. They're both excellent certifications. The one distinct difference is that most SFI wood is sourced in the US and most FSC wood is sourced outside the US. So if you have a choice, to purchase wood from either of these two certification programs, consider purchasing it inside the US. That is, if you're an American citizen. If not, then you wanna source FSC because that's more likely to be from your country. In addition to the green certification, the more local the wood is, the better. 
It also means it's supporting your local economy. As you can see, this subflooring that I scavenged from the trash pile was made nearby in Hansville, Alabama. All right, so the subfloor is in. What do you say, Chad? I think we did a pretty good job for a couple of schlubs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When you hire man crafting for the job, you get the comedy for free. <laughs> so now that the subfloor is in, we're going to go vertical, and we're going to start with these two corner posts. All right, so I'm going to cut off my post to length. Going with three inch screws to screw the base plate to the bottom of the post. And now I'm going to add my special base plate here that's ripped to the width of the three pieces of foam of my sit panel. Trains here. And now for the sit, install the ledger on the legs that we're going to set the panel on and then tilt it up. There's a screw. I'm gonna remove the offending screw. I should have checked all those sides before I started cutting. You were coming down. All right, yeah, the answer was to both of our weight on it that did that. Yo. 
that again. All right, I've got a confession. I bought a piece of lumber for this job. When you're working with reclaimed materials, sometimes it's hard to find the lengths that you need. You saw how I stacked up those two by fours to make the posts, but I really needed a clean, long two by four to go across the top of the back posts so the two two by eights could sit on that two by four. Much easier to screw into them and then up through the two by four into the joists to make this the right way. For my purchase, I did choose an SFI certified piece of wood. So Chad and I wrapped up yesterday without finishing this task. I went ahead and got a two by four and I'm back here today, Saturday, the day of the concert to quickly put in these last two headers. And finally, I'm gonna make sure I've got these two headers screwed together really well. So we've done all we're gonna do for today. Thanks Chad for helping out today. And if you wanna check out Chad's channel, I will link it in the description below. Of course, he's gonna be doing some plasma cutting here on this project. Probably a few videos down the road. We got a ways to go before we're ready for that. But um, Chad does a lot of DIY stuff, some powder coating. What else do you do on your channel? Plasma cutting, lasers, uh, welding. A little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. It's all in the category of man crafting. What is it? Manly arts and crafts? Yeah, you know, anything I do is man crafting. It doesn't matter <laughs> if it's a crooked vinyl cutter okay. or leather work. All right, special thanks to my patrons, of which Chad is one, who helped make these videos possible. Thank you for the vote of confidence and support of this channel. As always, my mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. We're helping out Scott here by making a little studio here for him, for the soundboard here at Music on Main Street, so he can continue to help bring music to the city of Lilburn. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next Saturday. Good night.